Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, so pests and diseases can be a big problem here in any cactus collection um, and I'm no exception. Um, I've had odd and off bouts with mealybugs for a couple of years now. Uh, it's only been probably in the last sort of 6 or 12 months that it's actually died down uh, quite a lot. Um, prior to that I had a really bad infestation in 2015 where I had a massive, massive portion uh, of my collection wiped out. Uh, I posted a few videos about it um, previously. Now I've tried pretty much every readily available um, spray, whatever else, uh, that's designed to control uh, pests and diseases. Um, but I found mealybugs especially resistant to pretty much everything that I threw at it. Um, they would just keep coming back or the sprays just wouldn't work. Um, the one that I did use in uh, another video did work to an extent, but nothing near where, what I was hoping for. Um, so I was actually recommended a product um, by uh, someone on a forum. Um, it's this stuff here. Um, just put it up a little bit closer. It's by a company called uh, Rich Grow and it's called Bug Killer, um, appropriately named because it does actually work. Um, and what it actually looks like is it's like little uh, granules, um, sort of orange colored granules. And what you do is you just sprinkle it around the plant in the pot um, and then water it in and it turns to mud. Uh, I've got a close up of that coming up in a minute. Um, for the application of it I use this which is just a plastic spoon that I heat it up over the stove um, and then I just pinch the ends in. Um, because I've got all my cacti like this as you can see very close together um, and getting in there is a nightmare so I just sort of go in sprinkle a bit. Um, now this, this stuff has zeolite and iron uh, which the plants seem to like. Uh, packet says that it lasts for two months uh, however I do it once a year usually in spring uh, but here in Melbourne our weather's been sh shocking uh, and so I've actually waited we're now pretty much in the middle of summer um, and the weather's only just become warm enough and stable enough all the cacti are actively growing now um, which is a good time to put it on because they soak it up uh, and it uh, and it works really well. So once a year, I find it's enough. Anywho, got some uh, close-ups and and whatnot coming up. So uh, if you're interested, keep on watching. <laughs>
So 40 minutes later and they are all done. As you can see, every single pot has a nice little orange dusting. Um, so the next step from here is basically just to water it in. Um, I'll show you what that looks like once it gets watered in because the little granules um, turn into like uh, mud almost. Um, now with this particular product you don't want to over water which isn't a problem with uh, with cactuses. Um, so you give it a good water in and the plant soaks it up and then anything that tries to eat the plant um, comes to a comes to its end. Alright, so now that the product's on, what I'll do is just go ahead and give them all a bit of a drink. Uh, the product dissolves quite rapidly um, and it turns into like a bit of a mud sort of consistency. Um, and then once it dissolves, it obviously allows the um, plant to uh, absorb the, the insecticide or pesticide, whatever, I'm not sure what the correct term is, um, so that it can soak it up um, and store it away in its body and then that way when something decides to have a munch on it, um, it, uh, it doesn't end well for whatever decides to munch on the cactus. Alright, so just zoom in for you and as you can see in this particular one, uh, where is it, this one here, yeah. Uh, the products turn into like a bit of a mud, orangey mud, uh, and that'll stay there um, until I water again and eventually it all just goes through. So it won't stain the soil or hang around forever, it will fully dissolve eventually. Uh, and that's about it. All in all, it took me 40 minutes to do uh, all of these plants. Um, I've got another lot of cactuses around the corner. Um, but I'll do those off camera. So I uh, hope you found the video interesting. If there's anything in particular you want to see, um, just let me know. I'm going to try and start doing a lot more videos of the next coming weeks and months. Um, hope you found this interesting. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, happy gardening. Bye.